Hey guys, it's me Ellie. And once again, I'm very, very sorry because the camera is not the best. So, yeah, I'm sorry, but you're going to have to deal with that because um, I haven't got a better camera yet. So, um, let's get into the game. So, I literally just um, downloaded a video not too long ago. And I am going to be making another one straight after because I, I just can't wait. I really want to um, get on to the next bit because I end up doing some really fun stuff that I'm sure you'll all like. So, let's get into it. Just realise that the volume isn't very loud. Okay. Alright, so of course in my last video, uh, the screen, yet yeah, again, cut off, but um, I'll try to sort that out for future videos. So basically we battled this kid here, I, and I battled this guy here, who actually gave me two great balls. So now I'm going down here, and I do not want to bump into that return. Alright, so here, I believe, Oh, look at that, we have an um, Ekans. I believe I didn't catch any Pokemon in the last video, actually. Correct me if I'm wrong. Excellent throw. Could have used a Great Ball, but I'm going to save the Great Balls um, for later on when we get into the more high leveled Pokemon. Sorry if my camera falls down at any point because my cat is right next to me, so they may not down my camera, just to warn you. Anyway, getting quite a few levels up. Pidgey wants to learn Quick Attack. What moves does it know, actually? I'm not sure. Tackle, Gus, Muru, Sand Attack. Oh, hmm. I think I'll replace Tackle with Quick Attack. Okay. Okay, just give me a minute. I'm just going to very quickly get my cat out so it doesn't look over the camera. Just do for a couple of seconds. I'll be back in a minute. Okay, sorry about that. I just have to get my cat out in case it knocks over the camera. Oh, and here we have a Spearow. We're finding lots of Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. Okay, I'll probably just use a Pokeball on this guy as well. Oh, sorry about that, my switch just fell down. Sorry about that, my switch just fell down. I promise that I'll try and get this sorted out for future videos. Anyway, we just caught that Spearow. And Bellsprout getting a level up. Yeah, sorry, my um, switch is just, you know, very bad at the minute. But very soon I'll be getting a lot better stuff. Right, so we have a Spearow, which I may replace with Pidgey, but I kind of want the me Mega Pidgeot, and you can't get a Mega Spearow, just to see in case there are any other Pokeballs, or Pokemon that we haven't caught yet. But this Rattata we've already caught, so I am not keeping him. There's another Rattata over there, but there is a trainer over here. Eek, did you push me? No, I didn't push you. Are you, are you thinking what I pushed you? Picnicker Robin. This is the first Picnicker that you've seen me battle, I think, because the last one was cut off. So, now you can see me battle it. Uh, but again, apologies if this video does get cut off. Just like two of my three videos have so far. I just realised how weak Eevee is, so as soon as I get to uh, Cerulean City, I'll definitely heal up Eevee. And I believe we are very, very close to Cerulean City. I'm not sure if um, 
I will be battling the gym leader in this episode because we still have to get past Mount Moon. So, yeah. Okay, I don't think there are any other Pokemon around here. Anything in this bush? No. Nope. Okay, so as long as I don't bump into any more Pokemon, let's move on. Oh, there's a Pokeball right here. And it's a Lore! That can come in very handy. Uh, I believe this guy's a trainer too. Yep. Hi, I like shorts. They're comfy and easy to wear. Oh, you're wearing shorts too. What is with all of these guys, or youngsters, liking shorts? I wonder if he's that Knickerbocker from the Ruby and um, Sapphire series. Who knows? Also, put in the comments below if you do know that this guy is from uh, the. I was about to say Diamond and Pearl then. Uh, Ruby and Sapphire series, because he could be that Knickerbocker in episode. Um, I don't know. Six or something. I think it's the episode before I approached Ego. Not entirely sure though. Do correct, it, correct me if I'm wrong though, because I have no idea. Here's another trader here. Are you a trader? Let's get to it right away. I have a trader. And I will happily battle you and destroy you. Bug catcher Greg was that? Greg. Not Greg, Greg. <laughs> and here's a What's with all these people having cocoons? Uh I'll just use quick attack. I'm basically going to use quick tap on every single Pokemon that I bump into, to be honest, until I get stronger moves. Poison the Sting, I hope he doesn't poison us. Oh, good, he didn't. Right, let's take him down. We're on quite a high level now, because his Pokemon is, I think it was on level 5, not entirely sure. And I'm on level um, 12, I think. I can't quite see the screen, so it's quite far away, but I think I'm on level 12. Alright, so he's down, we have a mysterious looking rock, I wonder if there's anything. Oh yeah, any hidden items? Any hidden items? No. Oh! Speaking of hidden items, I think Beedra just found one. Another Nana Berry. Oh well, we are running very low, we only have two, and now we have three. Anything around here? No. I can just keep looking at the hidden items. Right, and now we're getting up to Mount Moon. This could be quite a long episode, because like going through Mount Moon will take a while. Uh, Pokeball over here. A revive. That can come in handy. Oh, oh, it's a Rotella. Don't want to catch you. Right, I think once I have found a Charmander here. You can catch a Bulbasaur in Viridian Forest and a Charmander here. I'm not sure where you find Wild Squirtle, but I know where those two are. So I'm just going to see if I can find a Charmander. I'm not going to use the law because, um, like, I'm not really that desperate to get a Charmander, even though it's the pre-evolved form of my favourite Pokemon Charizard. I'm still really not that keen to catch it because I know that I can get it later on, along with um, Squirtle and all the others. I think in the other game you can find the like, Ekans and Meowth. Oh, speaking of which, there's an Ekans right there, and a small one. Oh, and I just bumped into it, whoops. <laughs> it's very hard to avoid Ekans because they're so big on the um, thing. Alright, no, don't think there are any Charmander around here. I'll get one later, don't worry. Right, here we are going up to Mount Moon, and he's taking a little rest. This tunnel takes. We just removed the city, and we have a coach trainer there, I'll battle him in a minute. Don't think this person's a trainer, I hope not. Good, she's not. Um, let's get this Pokemon right here. Oh, it's an escape rope, that can come in very useful. Another guy here. Oh, I'm perfect, there's a Pokemon Center, you can also find Onyx in this cave, which I'm pretty sure I'll, I will be catching on those. Oh, I accidentally talked to Beedrill there. Oh uh, yeah, sure, I'll give Beedra a little attention. Beedra is happy playing with me. Hmm. Hello there, I'm a coach trainer at your service. Do you want me, uh, yes I do, what's battle against you? Are you ready? Yes I am ready. Let's 
Oberon. Be I really am terrible at pronouncing names. Oh yes, a Meowth. I don't think you can get Meowths in this game. You can only... Hey, nope, got the wrong way around, sorry. You can get Meowths in this game, but you can't get Meowths in Let's Go Pikachu. You can only get Growlithe, so they must you can only get Meowths and you can't get Growlithe. But there is a person in, um, I believe, Vermillion City who gives you a Pokemon that helps with that. Well, we are faster than me. Okay, this guy could be tricky to beat. We have to use Pikachu, I think, to destroy him. Well, if I use Silver Kick from the start, I would have destroyed him, but I may not survive this. Hopefully it's a speed tie. Oh, I think Eevee could die. No! I believe Eevee died this early on. But don't worry, there is a Pokemon Center right here. Right, I'm gonna go with Pikachu, because I want to make sure he's nice and leveled up. You know, Thunder Shock with Tat Tail with Grab. They see exact, the exact same moves as Eevee, except for one, so. It's obviously exactly the same as if you get him as your starter. Jeez, that Meowth is strong. In just two hits, he can beat Pikachu. Thank goodness, Eevee you got him so weak already. But this coach trainer is very strong, so probably make sure you go to the Pokemon Center before you challenge him if you're like a beginner. What was it like? Pikachu moved to level 9 quite late on. But oh, now he wants to learn Double Kick. Yeah, sure, you can learn Double Kick. I believe uh, Eevee forgot Growl, I think. Or was it Tail Whip? I think no, Eevee forgot Tail Whip, so I'm going to make Pikachu forget Growl. Double Kick is designed so you can beat Fox Jim easily. But I've just defeated his gym in the last episode, if you want to check that out, so... Never mind. But I need all the electric and grass type Pokemon that I can. And we get the TM Payday, which is very useful, because I'll probably be catching a Meowth at some point. Maybe adding it to my team for a little bit. And there's also another Pokemon that I'll be adding to my team later on. Right, since so Eevee's fainted, I will happily rest my Pokemon. And I may actually have Pikachu follow me instead of Beedrill. And that's just kind of annoying having Beedrill around. It looks pretty cool. I have had it following me for a whole episode. So I will very quickly just make Pikachu walk behind me. Oops. Okay. Here we go. I've got a little Pikachu behind me now. So I've got a bit Eevee and a Pikachu. I think I did this with my other game, having an Eevee following me. But of course, you can't catch an Eevee till a lot later on. And if you look, you can only just about see. But on the top, uh, sort of like right, you can see a Meowth leaping. And for those of you. I just accidentally jumped down that ledge. Uh, for those of you that know who to rocket art, you'll know exactly who that Meowth belongs to. So here's- oh my god, oh, we have an Onyx straight away. Okay, so we literally just got into Mount Moon, and we already encountered an Onyx. Alright, so it's just telling you how to catch it. Now this guy's going to be tricky to catch. He's very, very big. I have caught one in my other game. I'm catching the first try, that was a lot easier than the next Pikachu. So we have an Onyx, and I am definitely going to be um, adding him to my team. But I'm not entirely sure who to replace, actually, because I want all my Pokemon to evolve. But you know what, since Beedrill is fully evolved, I may actually get rid 
um, of Beedrill because I want to fill my hope text as well. Pikachu I'm not going to let evolve because I want to keep it as Pikachu but of course we'll have to catch another one and evolve that. So Bellsprout, mm, I'll probably still keep. Pidgey I want to fully evolve that. Metapod I want to fully evolve that so I'll get rid of Beedrill. Sorry Beedrill, it was very very hard for me to catch you but I am going to get rid of you. Oh and here they are, the famous Jesse and James of Team Rocket. Looks like there's nothing here. So let's just search farther in. You, you were eavesdropping um, on us just now, weren't you? Meowth, you're supposed to be keeping watch. Oh, Meowth doesn't talk in this. I I'm so annoyed. And let's go beat you when I found out that he doesn't talk. I was so annoyed. I think everyone else who's played this game was annoyed about that too. Um, we know there's rare fossils buried around us somewhere. If you've got any, you better hand them over to us, twerk. Ah, they still call you twerk. That's right, if anyone is going to profit off those rare fossils, it's going to be us. Wah ha ha ha. <laughs> Alright, well, uh... Oh, we have Geodude! There'll be a lot of Pokemon here that I haven't caught yet. Mainly Onyx, Geodude, and... A couple of others that I haven't caught yet. Let's see if I can get the first try. That wasn't the best throw in the world, though. No, we do get a first try anyway. So yeah, Pokemon in Mount Moon are a lot easier to catch here than somewhere else. But I won't mention until we get to it. But we don't get there until a lot later into the game. Oh, and we have Metapod evolving! At only level 10, Metapod is already evolving. Alright, we have got a Butterfree. And it also learned Gust. So I've now got Beedrill and Butterfree. Of course, Beedrill I just took off my team. Um, of course, I've also got Onyx. Keep thinking Pichu is a Pokemon. Oh, oh, we have a Clefairy. And a Zubat as well. Okay, as soon as I catch this Pokemon, I am going to catch that Zubat. So we catch a Wild Clefairy, and then a Zubat as well. And this Pokemon is a bit harder to catch because it is slightly rarer, but only slightly. Not quite as easy to catch as a Geodude, as that just proved. Still getting used to the throwing, but I think I'm almost used to it now. And we caught it with an excellent throw. Three people getting a level up, including Pikachu and Onyx, and also Bellsprout, which is okay, but Bellsprout is going to be going off my team very soon. But a is also going to go off my team very soon. Pidgey will go off my team when it's fully evolved. Uh, right, I'm going to catch that Zubat. There are so many Pokemon here that I haven't caught yet, but of course in the future I would have already caught these Pokemon. And then they would be very annoying. Because you bump into these Pokemon on Victory Road and you just think, I caught them before I even got to the second gym, why do I need to catch them there? But seriously, they make Zubat way too annoying. It's just a thing to stop you from completing the game, but I don't, still don't know why they put it in. Anyway, we caught Zubat. I'm not, I'm not that excited about it because you literally find them everywhere. Like, literally, you'll see about 20 others throughout the whole game. And 10 of those will probably end up bumping into. Alright, oh, I keep thinking Peachy's Pokemon. I see that already another Zubat. So I'm going to battle against this trainer, so I can get that Pokeball over there. He thinks I'm suspicious. Well, I'll show him I'm, I may be suspicious, but I'm a very bad trainer. Oh, and he has a Butterfree! Well, now we literally just got a Butterfree, so... Oh, 
Eevee's double kick will be very useful against normal type Pokemon. Oh no, he knows confusion. This is bad, he knows confusion. Luckily he didn't confuse me, but that would have been very bad if he did. I hate Pokemon that can confuse you. Or put you to sleep and stuff like that. Also paralyzing and poison and burn are also not very helpful either. Eevee wants to learn sand attack. Mm. Sand you know what? I'll forget growl. Probably tackle I'll probably forget tackle, but I doubt I'm gonna be keeping sand attack for that long. Because when we get to the next gym, I'm definitely gonna get rid of sand attack. You got me. Oh, and we have a Z-Bat bumping into us, and a Geodude literally just appeared. So also, you bump into a lot of Geodude, I'm gonna bump into a few Onyx in the next cave that I go into. So once you catch them once, they just become annoying. Anyway. Let's go follow Team Rocket. Another trainer to beat. There are quite a lot of trainers to defeat here. You can just see James in the top left corner there. She's waiting for a friend to find her. And she has a bell sprout. The Let's Go Pikachu, she has an oddish. I think. Well, she may still have a bell sprout, I don't know. Alright, Bellsprout, Grass type. Uh, let's just use Quick Attack. It's probably the best move I can use. Hopefully, I don't bump into any fighting type Pokemon. Because I think I bumped into one fighting type Pokemon in here. I'm not entirely sure, but I think I did. Oh, and damages me with Rap. So let's destroy him with Tackle, which I haven't used yet. At all, so I might as well use it. But I'm going to get rid of Tackle because Quick Attack's a lot better than Tackle. Not only does it do more damage, but you also get to attack first. Unless they use Quick Attack as well. Right, thanks for the money of the Pokeballs. Um, and we have a Jesse. So we actually did put into James, we put into Jesse first. Oh, you're pretty fast, kid. Not really. What was the Oh, we have a keybone. Why is it letting me what? What's going on? Is this a glitch? I'm literally walking right over the uh, not keybone, it's the Paris. I'm literally walking right over it and it isn't letting me catch it. It let me catch the Zuba. Okay, my game was glitched, it won't let me catch a Paris for some reason. This is very odd. Well now it will. That was weird, it didn't let me catch it for a couple of seconds then. Anyway, let's catch this Paris. Actually, you can catch a Cubone here. As I accidentally called Paris a Cubone, but you can catch a Cubone here. And I desperately want a Marowak. Including an Alolan Marowak, which my next door neighbour has an Alolan Marowak. He traded it um, about a week ago in one of the Pokemon centres. So I'll definitely be getting a Marowak, that's for sure. This guy really doesn't want to get caught. Hopefully that excellent throw will catch him. Still not, okay. Looks like I'll use a raspberry on this guy since he really doesn't want to be getting caught. And I just realised that I have a pit up pit up berry. Oh, uh, okay. I'm doing very bad at this. Excellent throw with the raspberry. I have to catch him. Oh my god. How strong is this pa- This is a level 5 Paris. Come on, Pokemon. You can't make a Pokemon that strong. A Paris on level 5. How am I not catching it? I guess it's kind of telling me that I should use a great ball. Oh, right, I pulled it eventually. Okay, I went through way too much trouble and it was worth catching that virus. But Pidgey gained a level, hopefully it will be evolving soon. 
and we apply ourselves to, to the Pokedex. I'm not entirely sure what level Pidgey evolves. I think it, le it evolves at level... I don't actually don't know. Right, just going to very quickly go back and go down this ladder here. There are two different ways I can go. I'm not entirely sure which way it is. I know it isn't this way. But there is something along here that I can get. As long as I don't bump into any Pokemon. There's a Team Rocket Grunt. Kind of random. In the Paris. Again, random. But we have a rare candy. We find a lot in this game, actually. Oh, how am I going to get past them? Oh, there we go. I'm going to battle this Team Rocket Grunt. The random Team Rocket Grunt just hiding there. Of course, I'm guessing I'll have, yeah, a Rotella. Classic Team Rocket Pokemon. Of course, you don't see Team Rainbow Rocket in this, because um, in Pokemon Sun, no, not Sun, Ultra Sun, and Ultra Moon, you end up seeing Rainbow Rocket, but unfortunately they're not in Kanto. Well, that was easy. Bye bye, Rotala. Because my Eevee just kicks you, literally, with a double kick. Well, next, we to level 8. Of course, he's quite a low level compared to my other Pokemon, so I need to make sure he's on a very high level. Okay. Now let's go back up and battle a few more trainers. But you do see what I mean by there are a lot of trainers around here. I kind of want to bump into a gold bat, but I don't bump into them here. They're kind of hard. You have, like, we're just a very low chance of catching one. As you can see here, there's quite a lot of trainers. And also you can find a lot of items here. And we are being challenged by our first nerd. Now this video is already 27 minutes long. And I am nowhere near the end um, of Mount Moon. So I may have to do part 1 and 2 of this video, I'm just going to very quickly beat this trainer, and I'll end it, and then I'll do a part 2, which is where I'll just finish off doing Mount Moon. Critical hit and he's down. And we defeated him. Right, I'm going to put the save it. Okay, so that's going to be the end of this video uh, because it is quite a long one, otherwise, the, my next video will end up being like an hour long. So, I'm going to do a part two of this. So, if you want to see me finishing off Mount Moon and heading towards Cerulean City, then watch. Uh, the next part of this video. So see you then. Bye.